Hello, Salesforce admins. Let's learn essential habits for security. We are very excited to discuss essential habits today. Now at Salesforce, we've identified four core responsibilities that all admins share. They're user management, data management, security, and actionable analytics. And underlying these four core responsibilities is your personal success. To keep our responsibilities actionable, we've broken them down into habits, actions that you can take on a regular basis over time. We believe these habits are essential for success. In this video, we'll be discussing the third core responsibility, security. Trust is our number one value at Salesforce, and we've built our platform with security front of mind. We're committed to providing solutions so our customers have the flexibility to configure access as they wish. In other words, we securely provide the Salesforce service to you. Then we provide you, the customer, with additional features like profiles, permission sets, and multi-factor authentication. In addition to providing the secure service and the security features, we also produce resources like this. We hope to educate our customers on the importance of security and how to enable the security features that we've provided. We also consider security to be a partnership between us, Salesforce, and you, the customer. That leaves a number of security responsibilities on the shoulders of capable, awesome admins like yourself. That means staying informed about the security features available in your org. Remember, Salesforce releases three updates each year. Because trust is our number one value, we frequently update existing security or release new security features. It's your responsibility to review release notes and other resources to know what may be coming to your org. Even the most secure org is vulnerable to a bad actor with a login. That means as an admin, it's your responsibility to monitor your user logins and manage deactivating users who are no longer at your company. Industries, governments, and businesses all have different compliance standards and requirements. If those businesses use Salesforce, it is the admin's responsibility to protect sensitive data as the business requires. Keep this delineation in mind as we continue. The habits that we're highlighting today are focused on your security responsibilities. Before we begin discussing our security habits, remember, Salesforce users should have the least level of access to the system necessary to do their jobs. Think of the benefits of keeping access limited in this way. Users are more productive because they have access to only the applications, objects, fields, and pages they require. That's a lot less clutter and you are better protected from a phishing attack or an internal bad actor. With least privilege, bad actors are less likely to gain system level access. And it's also easier for awesome admins like you to manage over time. And who doesn't love things that are easier to manage? Vampires, that's who. Don't be team vampire, be team security, huzzah. Okay, so we've covered the vampirism of security and now it's time to actually discuss our habits. These habits include managing communication with your partners in IT, reviewing the access levels of your users, and staying up to date on security features. Ella, can you kick us off? Absolutely. So let's start with communicate regularly with IT. We recommend communicating with 